Then I have dictated the Thorn. The Honourable Member for Thornhill. Hamas's atrocities against Israeli civilians have been unimaginably horrific, and the sadistic crimes continue. In the carnage, five Canadians murdered, and they are not just numbers. Alexander Luke from Montreal, Ben Mizrahi of Vancouver, both murdered when Hamas opened fire on a music festival. Sheer Gregory was also killed there. Adi Vital Kaplun of Ottawa was murdered in her kibbutz, and Netta Epstein murdered as he sheltered his girlfriend from a grenade launched at them. They are now in our memory forever, and may their memory be a blessing. Canadian citizens missing are believed to be held hostage amongst the 199 others by Hamas terrorists who hold their own people under siege in the gruesome grip, serving as a proxy for the regime in Iran, imposing maximum terror on everyone in their path of destruction. Amongst the missing believed to be held Vivian Silver, Judith Weinstein, and Tiferet Lapidot, daughter of our own citizens. Their fate unknown. Canada could do more, and they must do more. Demand their release again and again. And we pray for their fate and their safe return. The Honourable Member for Charlebourg, au Saint Charles. Mr. Speaker. Hamas launched a number of terrorist attacks against Israel last week, taking hostage num numerous people. They have raped women, decapitated ch babies, and tried to kill as many Jews as possible. The Israel has been told to stop defending itself by Iran, and they've said war could spread. Iran wants Israel to just accept the murder of its own people, that they do nothing and say nothing. Israel has a right to defend itself against these attacks. Conservatives condemn unequivocally the invasion of Israel by Hamas terrorists. I find it odious that anybody in Canada or elsewhere would support Hamas knowing that at least five Canadians have been killed, including Alexandre Luc of Montreal. There is no place in Canada for the glorification of terrorism. No money from Canadian taxpayers sh should support terrorism. We need to bring back common sense. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Alexandra Luck, Ben Mizrahi, Adi Kaplun, Sheer Georgi, Netta Epstein, Judith Hagai, six Canadians brutally murdered in the war launched by the terrorist group Hamas against our friend and ally Israel. Over 1,400 dead, scenes of sickening brutality, infants slaughtered, elderly survivors of the Holocaust butchered. Innocent civilians, Israelis, Americans, Canadians had their lives ended or forever changed simply because they were Jews. And I feel for hostages being held in Gaza, whose fate is unknown, and innocent Palestinian civilians who suffer because of Hamas. Yet there are pro-Hamas demonstrations in our own country celebrating this depravity. I hope the entire House joins me in denouncing those who are celebrating the death of innocent Israelis, those who are inciting violence against Jewish Canadians. Mr. Speaker, my heart is broken. I am devastated. I stand with our ally Israel. I stand with the people of Israel. Am Yisrael Chai. The Honourable Member for Winnipeg South Centre. The tragic loss of life at the hands of Hamas's evil has made us angry, sad, and filled with unimaginable grief as we are left trying to comprehend the incomprehensible. These terror attacks are the cruelest against the Jewish people, my people, since the Holocaust. It is possible to live in a world where we strive for peace in the Middle East, while at the same time being able to state in no uncertain terms that we condemn the rape murder and kidnapping of innocent women, children, and the elderly. And we must be able to say this without the word but inserted to serve as the catalyst for some moral justification. There is no morality to be found in what they have done. Even the lives of people whose interests Hamas claims to represent mean nothing in their pursuit of hatred and the eradication of the Jewish people. There is no question that we must uphold the value of all human life and extend to one another a sense of kindness and dignity as we struggle together in the days ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.